born in Medellin, Colombia. And I was adopted when I was three months old. I was very ashamed about it when I was younger and very embarrassed because I didn't know anyone else in my situation. I do have a lot of questions surrounding my ancestry because I was adopted so young and because I don't have any information about my birth mother, no photos or anything. It is important to me to have some visual and tangible understanding of her. I'm taking a DNA test because I'm just curious to know the past that like made me who I am right now. It's all like, it's imprints. It's like traces are in me and like on me and on my mind and my body and in every other aspect of my life. And it's crazy they can do it with just spit. <laughs> this year I realized I'm on the earth right now to dance. And it's been in me since I was born for sure. And now I'm on this tour, the Fiddler on the Roof national tour, which is so different for me, but so necessary right now. Not just as a career or money thing, but also just as inner work. Now is the beginning of the chipping away at the ancestry piece of the puzzle. So my parents, a year and a half after they adopted me, went back to the same orphanage and adopted my sister. <laughs> A couple years after that, my parents had my brother, their biological son, and we're a crew. As an adoptive mother, I always wondered about whether what you were going through was normal childhood or teenage stuff, or whether it was related to you being adopted because of that unknown of your ancestries. And I had to embrace that. Instead of wanting you to be more like me, I had to embrace who you were and embrace how you were different. Even as an infant, really, he had this ability to control his movement in a way that I think was unusual. Paul just turned two years old and look what he can do. There are things I can so see and trace back to you and there are things that like I trace back to being a person that didn't originate here. Mm -hmm. I know even if I was still in Colombia and I didn't have the resources, I would still choose to dance. And luckily, because of my family and my situation, mm -hmm. I can also make it my work and my education and my career. I was working with this choreographer, and he said, listen with your feet, the earth is talking to you. And I was like 13 or something when I heard it. I was very young, but I was like, what? Like, I just, it stuck with me. And then like, only until this year, I messaged him again, and I was like, this thing you told me years ago just was born. It's coming from like the core and it's just like boom, 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 boom. When I graduated college a year ago, I just had a deep sense of it's time to start dusting away my past and the things I don't know about. So I'm about to look at my DNA results. Wow. Total fruit salad. Being Native American and then having some sub-Saharan African DNA are things I think I could have guessed, but hook me up with the Iberian Peninsula. The 1700s were popping off for my ancestors. It is another step towards learning more because it's really a map of how my ancestors fused. Oh, I wanna know what they all looked like, you know? I can't see my birth mother's face in my mind. But if I don't get that blessing of seeing her in this life, I also know that we're connected. I had to go through that period when I was younger of insecurity and embarrassment to come to a place where I embrace it 
and where I take it is just a part of me and not something that defines me or something that's heavy, but just something that I walk with. It's helped me realize my identity as a Colombian. My life's work will be understanding where I'm from. Doing this DNA test hasn't brought me closer to my birth mother, but it really has given me a more colorful understanding of my roots. I really do trust that the stars will align when it's meant to be. But at the same time, my family is my family. And we came together in love and we stay together in love. I'm so blessed, I'm so lucky.